Hello friends, Coach Bob here with you. And today, uh, very early morning, I've been out uh, doing a little yard work, the uh, typical stuff. Um, in fact, I'll show you something. When I, whenever I do yard work, I always have this out here too. That way you can sit down and relax and watch your neighbors go to work. <laughs> Retirement is awesome, I'll tell you that. So folks that are still out there in the workaday world, uh, work hard and savor the flavor, and I promise you, you are going to enjoy retirement. It is quite wonderful. They're going to work. <laughs> One of the reasons I may seem a little more excited than normal, which Coach Pink tells me I'm always excited about something silly, but this isn't silly. This is really great. In fact, it's awesome. Coach Vic and I are planning on going on a trip here soon. A big trip, as a matter of fact. And when we do that big trip, we needed to get some parts. One of the things we've been dealing with, these little guys right here, these are a little bit low for Coach Vic. Coach Vic's 5'2 and has short legs. She's long-waisted. One of the problems is that her feet don't put a lot of pressure on here and they kind of slide off the side. So we were thinking if we could get a floorboard riser, something that's really adjustable, that we could resolve that problem. So I looked at several online and the one that seemed to be the most promising was from Can-Am Spider Accessories. I'll put a link up here somewhere or down below, canamspideraccessories.com. Guy's name is Pierre, lives up in Canada. I was very concerned because with us being up against a wall, you know, we're gonna make a trip, we're worried, are we gonna be able to get these things in time? Because I really do wanna get these on here and they're very adjustable. So even if I didn't have them at the right height, I could, I could move them around pretty easily while we're on the road. So lo and behold, I'm out doing my work and FedEx brought me a box. And I'm thinking there's no way, but yes way. I think CAD might be Canada. And I think the origin says Pierre Poliquin. I could be saying the last name wrong. I'm pretty sure I got the Pierre part right, but the other part I might have got wrong, so don't, don't hold me to it. If you're like me and you've always been reticent about ordering something from across the northern border, wondering is it going to get here in a timely fashion, especially if your back's up against the wall, or just the idea of international shipping, is it going to be a problem? That is something you can take out of your mind and go, that's not a problem. It's not a problem. So very impressed with that. I've yet to open the box to see what it looks like. There are a few other things in the box. I'll share, you, share that with you as well. This is just a preview of an unboxing to let you know of the episodes of installations that'll be coming up real soon. All right, let's see what we got here, y'all. Let's see what we got. Always be careful when you're cutting this stuff. You don't want to cut, scratch, you know, any parts that you have in there that might be uh, cosmetic. And I do have you know, I'm not a big bling guy, but I do have a cosmetic part in here. I'll share that with you. I also think it will serve a purpose and you'll know what I'm talking about when you see it. Ah, okay, these are the, uh, these are the risers here. I know what they are because they are heavy, 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 which I like, I like, I like. So let's cut this right here. <laughs> it looks like a dog bone. <laughs> the dogs are out here, they probably go crazy. Trash can commandeer. Very nice job packing, which means no damage, which I like to see. Mounting screws, there's the uh, brackets. Uh, looks very, very complete. Very heavy duty. This is gonna be super nice. These things look great. I like to look at the finish on things. That's, I'm very big about that. All the bolts look complete. Uh, everything looks quality there. It's like Christmas time, man. Way to wrap it up. There it is. Said no one ever. So there's the mounting bracket. That's machined. And powder coated looks good. Red holes look good. And you'll see that I'm I'm a pretty cantankerous dude. I mean, I you know when it comes to being picky about things, I'm a pretty picky guy. Uh, the way things are packaged, is it secure? Is it safe? Is it done right? I'm a, that's a big deal to me. And so seeing this is very encouraging to me. Uh, telling me that if they're this meticulous about their packaging and looking at the product itself, when I see little things like this right here. To me, that indicates that somebody's put a screw in there to clean those threads out. I, it appears to me those threads have been cleaned out. Very nice, very nice. So these are the floorboard risers. Let's keep digging. Another thing I complained about the Spider was not having a charging port. And uh, so, and not having a charging port is a, is a big deal to me um, because the idea that I cannot charge my phone while I'm driving because it's up in that frunk and all that stuff, I don't like that. So this is, this sits up 
by your, uh, by your toggle switch for your heated grips and it illuminates and it is nice little dual USB port. It's got a nice watertight cover on it. This is, this is a little lanyard, awesome. It comes with the key fob cover. Um, I ordered that and a couple lanyards, so that's that set for there. This is the cosmetic set. This is the bling I was talking about. Um, if you'll notice, and, and I'm sure you've noticed on your spider, the uh, front of that thing is like a Hoover vacuum cleaner, man. I mean, it it really stores a lot of leaves and stuff in there, and I don't like that. What I wanted to do, these that's what these are. These are the blocks to install this. Um, what I wanted to do was mitigate some of that Hoover vacuum cleaning experience, install these in the grills. And that way it's, it's a little easier to keep debris out of there. We'll see how much this cut out here of the spider, if that pulls debris in, I don't know. I guess the only way to know is to put them on and check it out, but they look great. So these are the black carbon. Let's see it against the uh, spider itself. So it's actually a quite simple installation. We will be putting these in, but It will look something like that. Very, very cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Ha <laughs> ha! I like it a lot! All right, one of the complaints that every person that I know that owns a spider has is this. You know, with my keys, I have a little item in my kitchen. I think most of us have one where you hang your keys and that's where your keys go. And then you have all of your keys in one spot except this and it's put in a box or in something somewhere to the side so you won't lose it. And then invariably you go to look for it and you're frustrated that you laid it down or whatever. When I talked to the spider dealer, several of them, they had a, some different things. I mean, people were wrapping zip ties around these things and you know, all kinds of little fixes that they could do. But I wanted to do, you know, it seems a shame to ride around on a $30,000 motorcycle, or in my case, not $30,000 because I didn't pay that, but we'll say a $20,000 motorcycle and not be able to keep up with your key. And it, for those of us in the, uh, we'll just call it the boomer years, um, we have a little, a little more difficult time with that. So, and then of course, Can-Am has a chip in here and they say, you know, if you cover it, your, your bike won't work. So I am assured that this nice machined piece of metal, it looks really nice. You can see that. It's large, which for me is very helpful. It has some carbon fiber inserts that I can pop in right there. It's gonna look super nice. Can-Am Spider Accessories also includes a little Allen wrench. Very, very, very tiny screws. And there is three of them. One, two, three. Very, very simple. You just take your key, your key drops in here. Presses in there, nice and snug so it doesn't, not jangly. You can see that it does press in there and it's not, it's not damaging the key, but the rubbery outer edge holds it nice and snug so you're not gonna get any, any jangly noises out of it. That's very important to me. We've got three screws and we'll have to take my shades off here to do the work. Um, you know how I'm about Loctite, right? Uh, and yes, I'm gonna Loctite these little guys. Being very careful just to put it Drip, a very small drip. Coach Vic will get up. What's this blue stuff on my table? Shame on you, Coach Bob. I have to get the rag out and do a little clean. But in order to pick it up, all I'm doing is I'm sticking the Allen wrench in there. That's how I'm handling it. Take that, start it right in there. Just remember these are finely machined. And as I told you with anything that's been anodized or powder coated, just be very gentle when starting it. You'll feel it, it'll start to grab. Once it does that, just turn it like that with your hand. We don't want to tighten it. There again, we'll do the same thing. And the reason you never tighten these things at the very beginning is you don't want the holes to not line up. Make sure your recess is open on the outer edge. That way you can put your nice little carbon fiber uh, 3M print on there. Bet you didn't expect to get a sneak preview and an installation. Ooh, bonus time. These screws are going to be 
probably not completely inset, but they are inset um, in here. So I'm gonna lay this on here just because I like the way it feels better. I would have a little powder coat in there because I knew it had already started, so I didn't have to worry about cross threading it. All right. Now, something as small as this may seem like a very insignificant thing to you. It's a big deal to me. This is a big deal to me because this isn't something I'm doing because it looks cool. Although it does look cool. I'm doing it because of functionality. You'll find that 99% of what I do is done because of function, not fashion. I like cool things, don't get me wrong. I think we all do. Those are snugged up. That's not going anywhere. Now, I want you to know, I did not watch a video on how to do this. <laughs> Before I do anything else, we're going to go out to the spider because everyone wants to tell you this thing is not going to read the, the chip in the, in the key if it's covered. So, although they say it won't, I don't take anyone's word for anything. Before I button this thing up, check it and see if it works. Doesn't matter if it's wiring, doesn't matter what it is. You never button anything up till you know it works. We now know it works. All right, so what I've done, I've washed my hands because I did use Loctite. Didn't want anything on my hands. Get a paper towel, make sure the room dry. So we've Loctited the little Allen screws in there. Get that Loctite off the table, keep Coach Vic happy. It's very important that Coach Vic be happy. <laughs> so we'll set that Allen screw to the side. This, by the way, will go in a Ziploc bag and kept on my spider. So if I did have an experience to key problem on the road, which I don't anticipate, but this will go in the little, I keep my uh, registration and insurance cards in a little Ziploc bag. This will go in that Ziploc bag and it will always be there if I need it for that key. Don't ever risk being stranded on the road because of something that is, although it's utilitarian, just don't wanna risk those things. I don't think that would ever happen, but an ounce of prevention. Okay, so what I'm doing here, getting some alcohol, and the way I do these things is I only clean the section that I'm gonna be sticking something to. And I worry, always worry about using a solvent of any kind on any sort of finished metal because it could stain it or mark it up and make it not look as good. Now, I will tell you, I'm looking at this pretty closely and it looks absolutely solid there. That did not leave any marks at all. So this is gonna go in here. Let's take this little 3M tape. This 3M stuff is amazing, huh? You just stick a GoPro on a helmet and do 80 miles an hour. <laughs> Not that I would ever go that fast, but end up a little bit. Pull it on off there. My hands are big and I am clumsy. What you do, you kind of lay it in there. You don't press it in until you know you're in on all sides. Be kind of countersunk in there. And press it good and snug. Do the other side. Like I said, these little utilitarian things make a big difference to me. Now, do you have to clean this with alcohol? Probably not. Probably not. But any oils or anything that might have been left on it after the uh, machining process, I want to make sure that, you know, any margin of error that I have, that I do as much as I can to mitigate that. Looks good. All right, same thing. Work it in, just lay it in there, and it drop right in slot. There we go, perfect. Squeeze her in. Like I said, because I'm working with black on black, I always worry <laughs> that I have it sitting up on an edge and I don't see it. Okay, looks good, everything looks good. So there it is. Looks very nice. Now, Never tear things open with your teeth. It's a good way to go to the dentist. <laughs> right. You can put this on a short lanyard, a long lanyard, whatever you choose. But that, my friend, is gonna work. You should never not be able to put your key on a key ring or a keychain or something of that nature. So now, 
put it on the chain of your choosing. Now while I'm here, I'm gonna share something with you. Somewhere like maybe, let me think, up over here, hopefully there is a video playing. I don't wanna get in the way of it. That video right there is of Coach Vic's channel. I'll have a link up here and a link down there. So Coach Vic has a channel, it's like called Basic Para Stuff with Coach Vic. She took me on a Can-Am ride the other day and it was somewhat interesting. You always see me getting everything together and doing all the prep work. She surprised me by doing some prep work and then taking me for a ride. So it's kind of a video done in Coach Bob fashion, but from her perspective, she did it and you might enjoy it. So if you feel like perusing over to Coach Vic's channel, there's a little picture of it there and there's a link of it down there and maybe a link up there if I can get it in there. And but there will definitely be a link down there. And she has her own channel now. So if you can help her channel grow, I know she would appreciate it too. By the way, we are rapidly approaching a thousand subscribers. We're sitting at 900 right now. Man, we're gonna be at a thousand soon. That's a very big deal. So I'm super excited about that. I'm super excited about the channel growing. Keep sharing it with your friends. It really is important. Make sure you click that thumbs up. It really helps. Make sure you leave that comment. Everything that you do makes the channel grow. You may not realize it, but YouTube has a little algorithm thing. And the more involved you are in this channel, the more the channel has the aptitude to grow. And it's all because of you. It's not me, it's you. See how important you are? I bet you didn't know that. I don't know you know. Anyway, make sure you check Vic's channel out. So there's a little preview, a little unboxing, little install, a key fob, some of the, like I said, may seem simple, very utilitarian, can certainly save old guys like me a lot of trouble, because now I can hang it up there with the rest of my keys. So until next time, go out, buy the motorcycle of your dreams, eat right, take care of yourself. And remember, if you're not having fun, you're doing it wrong. Now go seize the day, and we'll talk to you soon.